BankSync enables you to connect and sync your transactions from your financial institutions to a church track account of your choosing. And I'm going to show you how to use it. So the first step is to link your accounts. So on the accounting screen in ChurchTrack, select the link accounts button. And then since I don't have any accounts currently linked, I need to link them. So I'll select link accounts. And then from here, I have the ability to accept and continue to link accounts to ChurchTrack. Now, just a quick note, with ChurchTrack, you can link up to three accounts for free. Uh, after that, each additional account is a $2 one-time charge. And an account can be something like a church checking account, a savings account, a credit card for your church. Those are all one account. So I'll go ahead and hit accept and continue. Now, this all happens through our integration with Stripe. And so I can accept and continue here. And then I start searching for my bank account. Now, every bank is different in terms of how you log into your bank and connect it to ChurchTrack. So just be sure as you connect them um, that the process you're doing for one bank may be different from another bank if you're using different financial institutions. So after you've linked your accounts to ChurchTrack, you then want to match your accounts. And so to do that, select link accounts. And then you'll have your current accounts that have already been linked earlier. And I can select the account that I want to match to church track. And so I have one account available, my savings one, two, three account that I can link directly to this account that I want to link to and then select link account. And then the program will automatically confirm that I want to link this particular account to the account that I've created in church track and I will select OK. So now that my accounts are all matched up, I'm ready to start pulling in those transactions directly from my bank using our sync feature. And so the way I do that is I select the account that I wish to pull those transactions in from. So I'm gonna to go to my credit card account and then I will select the import slash sync button. Now, since I've already connected this account, I can use our handy dandy sync feature and select sync new transactions. Now I can select another date if I want to go back even farther than 12-7, which I do want to in this case. So I can select another date and then I can go back to whatever date I'd like to sync back to. Uh, ChurchTrack does give you the ability to sync back up to 180 days to the current date. Now for this particular situation, I only want to sync back to November 19th. So I'll go ahead and select sync transactions and there we go. Okay, now I have synced my transactions. I am brought them over to church track. I have a couple options. I can either go ahead and check off all these transactions to add them in my account register. Uh, if there are any transactions I don't want to add, well, I can skip those as well. And all that's done through the actions button where we have the option to either add checked items or skip those checked items. But typically you're not going to be skipping something unless it's something like a Stripe payout for an automatic giving deposit, something like that. Those are the rare situations. So in this situation, I want to go ahead and check all, select the actions button, and go ahead and add checked items. And then the software will automatically prompt and ask me if I want to add these to my account register. I select OK. And now there's nothing more to review because that has all been added to my account register. So when I go back to return to my account register, I have synced all of those transactions and imported them over into ChurchTrack. Now, before you start syncing all your transactions, I do recommend checking out our other video on using import rules because that will enable you to properly categorize all of your different transactions before you even bring them over to your account register. So that is BankSync. To learn more about all of our other great features that we have, not only in church track accounting, but worship scheduling and so much more, check out our YouTube channel uh, and also check out our online user guide where we have so many articles that show you step-by-step -step how to use all the other features in church track. See ya.